DIY tutorial, learn how to make this easy scented llama for all those aches and pains. Hi, my name is Anna and welcome to Fun Sock Creations. We've got this adorable scented llama that you can heat up in the microwave if you'd like, or you could keep it in your freezer and use it as a cool pack as well. I've linked the free pattern in the description down below along with the socks that I use, which make a perfect scented llama. Also, I tested all the products that I used in this in my microwave to make sure that they were microwave safe because there are some products that will melt if they get too hot. So you'll always want to test whatever products you're using on your llama, including the socks, just to be safe. In this tutorial, I use lavender essential oil. You can use any kind of essential oil or even dried herbs or fragrance oils that you can buy at craft stores. Any of those options would work great. All right, enough talking. You'll need the following supplies. Head on over to funsockcity.com for all your sock needs, including the ones you'll need for this project. Begin by turning your sock wrong side out and lay it with the heel facing towards you. Then take the template for the body and the head and lay that on your sock. I tried to make it so that this front part basically aligns with that template. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this back part is where we'll mark and we'll sew. Now, I do not know if my markings will show up on this, but if yours, if you have a hard time keeping track of where you're marking, you can actually just pin this onto your sock and then sew there. Now what I want you to realize though is about right here is where we're going to stop and we're going to just cut this right here because that's where we're going to fill it and close it after we have turned it right side out. Then take the head part and if you're using these socks, try to not use the tag part because we want these to be super soft. I'm going to put a pin right in here just to hold those two layers together the way that I want them to be and same with up here at this body portion. Now you can hand sew this or you can use a sewing machine. Make sure you back stitch. If you're so using a sewing machine, make sure you back stitch at the beginning and the end of where you start sewing. So here and here, again, we're going to leave this open so that we can turn it right side out and fill there. Also here, you'll back stitch here and don't forget to stop here. I'm going to add a little pin to remind me to stop. So I'm going to sew that on my sewing machine and then come right back. Now I'm going to take these needles out, except for that one that I used to mark where my stopping point was, and cut around your seams. Careful not to cut through those seams that you just have sewn. Now for this one, remember we stopped here. If my sewing line would have continued following that pattern, it would have been about like that. So I'm going to cut just above that, and then I can take that pin out and finish cutting. Now let's turn it right side out. You can throw these scraps away and turn the head right side out. It's gonna go together about like that. Before we close these up, we wanna fill these with rice. And I will be scenting mine. You could use dried lavender or any kind of dried herb that you think would be soothing, but you could also use essential oil. I'm gonna be using lavender essential oil. And I have about one cup of rice in here and I'll be adding, I think about 10 drops of the essential oil. And then just stir that up. And create a funnel using a piece of paper and just make it into a cone and tape it into place to make it easier. Then put that into the opening of the body and pour the rice in. Okay opening was not big enough <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut off that a little bit and then we'll try again all right I do not have the patience for what that was doing so I've made a new funnel makeshift funnel from cardstock that opening will stay open and we'll be able to get this done Let's 
chest that. I think that was a little more than I meant to do. It was so much easier. I didn't realize how much would go in so fast. Okay, so that is about what I'd like it to be. I wanna save enough though for the head and the neck of the lava. So I think that is good. Now we'll fill the head. I'm just gonna put it all in there. If it's too full, well, which it was, you can just let it fall out like I did. Yeah, that's about right, right there. Now we're gonna close it up and I have just two strands of embroidery floss looped through a needle and we're gonna lock it into place, which if you've seen any of my other videos where we do hand sewing, you'll know what that is, but for the, the new people here, I'll show you. Poke the needle in on the inside of the fabric near the opening, bring it back out, and before you pull it all the way tight, you're going to push the needle between those trailing threads and then you can pull it tight. That just keeps it from popping out between those fibers of the sock. Now, we'll tuck those raw edges in and sew it closed. And these socks are just the best, especially if you're new to hand sewing because they are so forgiving with all this fluff, you can't see imperfections in your sewing. At least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> I'm not an expert seamstress and half the time my stuff looks really sloppy and if I can hide it, I love it. So when you get to the end of that opening, go ahead and knot off your thread so that it'll stay there. And then you can just cut that off and do the same thing with this opening here. After you've knotted off the thread on this top portion of the llama, don't cut it off. We're actually gonna use this to attach it onto here. Now, I'm using this opening where we filled and, um, and turned it right side out. I'm gonna use where I closed that to meet up with this. And if you saw on the pattern, it was cut kind of at like an angle. And I did that so that these would come together nicely. However, yours might need to be adjusted based on how you cut it or sewed it. So just be flexible. If you need to cut off a little bit, that's totally fine. But this will save you just a little bit of time if you don't cut off this thread right here. And then just instead use it to attach these two points together. And I'm just going back and forth between each section. Make sure you're really grabbing the sewn portion or above that because you don't want to accidentally grab just these loose fibers. And I'm coming here even on this kind of what you would consider the side portion right here. And then I'm gonna come along and do that same thing all around this back side, just to really make sure they're connected well. And I'm gonna end with that back side of the neck. I'll show you right here. And then you can knot it off and cut it off. Now that the basic body shape is done, cut out the felt pieces for the face and ears and legs. I just wanted to mention real quick, I made the legs really short. You might want longer legs. I just think that llamas with short legs are adorable. <laughs> so, but do whatever you like, of course. You don't have to do it the way that I was, that I planned to do it. All right, so I've got all those pieces and now I'm gonna take my glue. Just as a reminder, if you're using tacky glue like this, this is not washable. And honestly, you wouldn't wanna wash this with the rice in there anyway. So that shouldn't be a problem, just in case anybody wanted to wash it. If it gets gross, you might just have to make yourself a new one. First, I'm gonna actually just create the face off of the llama, and then I think I'll be able to tell where I want it better. So I'm gonna glue on the back of there, put that kind of right in the middle, maybe a little bit lower than middle vertically. And then I'm gonna put the eyes on, and I have these fabric markers that I'm going to use to create the mouth area. Right now that I have that put together, I'll put it up here and we'll figure out where we want to really place it. Think about right there. You don't need a ton of this tacky glue and I'm just kind of spreading it out right now. I'm not adding more. And press it right into place. Grab those ears. Remember that 
flatter part, they're pointing towards each other on those ears. And I'm going to put those ears on the front side of the head, not on the very tippy top, but on that front side just above where we put the face. And so I'll just put a little glue on this bottom portion, press that into place, and do the same thing on the other one. All right, I'm going to recut my legs because I realized I want to put them on the back side of the body and then they're just like way short. <laughs> and so I'm gonna make them just a little bit longer. That will be adjusted in the pattern. I'm gonna make them plenty long and then I can make them shorter once they're glued on. So I've got those. I'll just put a little glue and I'll do one at a time. Oh, I'm so silly. I left the lid on there. Oh, no wonder it wasn't coming up. Okay, so put a little bit of glue. I'm going to do enough. It's about a centimeter up at the top. I want to make sure it has good contact. So these are little loose pieces. And then press that and we'll do the other one. And we'll do two up front and two in the back. And remember, it's okay if they're not quite even or if they're longer than what you were thinking you wanted because we will shorten those. I put on way too much on that one. So I'm gonna take some onto here. I love the length of these back ones and these front ones are just a tad too long. I feel like this llama needs just a little bit more. So, I cut out this rectangular piece of felt and I just tried it out on the llama like that. I love how it looks. So I'm going to glue that into place with my tacky glue. And then I think it needs just a little bit of fun. So I cut this out of felt. I was wanting to use um, like kind of rickrack and stuff like that, but all I can find is polyester, and I'm pretty sure we shouldn't be microwaving polyester. So I just cut this out of felt. I'm going to glue that onto there just a little before that white ends. So it has a little bl blink white space there. And I love that on there. I think that adds the perfect touch. And then you're going to want to let everything dry completely before you mess with it at all. To use your scented llama, heat it in the microwave for 30 second intervals, and then just test it every time, kind of wiggle it around, and make sure that it's to the right temperature that you like. If you're wanting to use it as a cool pack for bumps and bruises, you can keep it in the freezer and just pull it out whenever you're ready to use it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.